Greetings, dear ones. I'm Kyan of Magnetic Circus. My partner steps aside. This is a process. And to him, it is a process. Where you clear that which is what you would call the intuition of the human being, all of the filters you might have, the traditions that you believe in, all that you were raised with, the biases that you carry. And you put them aside for a moment. It is taking a long time for this particular thing to take place with him. But when it does, it allows a clear channel through his pineal, the higher self, to the creative source. And this is what you're hearing. I am not an entity. I am not a human. I never have been. I represent a collective, a message from the creative source in love with humanity. He sees you as beauty, the creation from the great central source. Dear human being, there is much happening on the planet at the moment, even as you sit here. There is so much happening. And yet you're not going to believe anything I'm telling you now or later about yourselves or your own power or the processes within you unless you can get out of the bubble of your tradition. Now the tradition we speak of is that which you grew up with, which you were taught is right and wrong spiritually. When we say tradition is not what you learned from your ancestors about wisdom or where you've come from, it's the box instead of what is real and what is not real traditionally. And if you've taught that channeling is not the way of it, you're not going to hear anything we say. Many times I have faced old souls and I've asked for this. And I ask for this with you, for all of those listening. Yet again, there is a shell around the countenance, a shell around the, the very field that is you. And you built it from birth when your parents told you what is real and what is not. When you saw things as a child that you've now forgotten and you reported it to your parents and they said, well, that's nice, honey. You'll grow out of it. And perhaps you were out in the country. You felt the energy of the divas. You saw the movement out of the corner of your eye. You told it to your parents. And they said, well, that's nice, honey. When you grow up, you'll get better. And slowly the esoteric things of nature or the angelic things above and beyond you that you could sense out of the corner of your eye finally went away because you put yourself into the shell, a shell of belief. And then there were those who you trusted who were beautiful and spiritual, who told you what is and is not possible spiritually. And they brought you information because they were adults and you were not. It had extra energy to it because you trusted them. And they may have told you that everything you're seeing right now is a sham. Not possible. Don't go there. And this dear old soul is among most of humanity. The idea that there could be messages from the other side of the veil given in such fluidity, such clarity, such beauty and love 
It's frightening to many. I'm going to ask you for the next few hours to drop the shell. Nothing is going to hurt you here. You may even feel things you've never felt before because the shell kept you from feeling it. How many of you were told that God doesn't see you the way I said? Or that you're not allowed to speak to God directly? This is the shell. I want to give you the premise of what I see. The reality of what I see. Every single human being in the room is born magnificent. Magnificent. With all the tools of the creator and mastery within. With the ability as they grow to find out what they have to connect to the creator in their own way and to move forward. Some of you will call it mastery. Others call it awareness. Others call it light. And that if there's nothing in the way, not only will you grow in this fashion, you will become closer to that which we are describing as innate, which is the smart body inside. So suddenly you become self-balancing, easy to be with, healthy, and connected to the best you can to the Creator. Now in front of me, in this room, are many just like that. They figured it out. Dear ones, I'm speaking to so many more than just in this room. And asking them, as well as some in the room, if you could drop the shell for just a little while, and you could see things you didn't even know were there, wouldn't it be worth it? And we're going to say it again. You have free choice to put the shell back when we're done. Walk out just like you came. Have a nice meal. And it'll be no different than watching a movie. But there will be others in the room who will never put the shell back together. Because they felt the love that is for you and them that is palatable I want you to see this as your reality the creative source call it what you wish spirit God has an amazing love for you that is a benevolent force that is ready to permeate everything in you to change who you are to awaken the God inside you have a piece of the Creator in you and you carry it around activating it is only being aware that it's there you've been told it isn't you've been told you must go someplace else that it's with someone else something else and you attach to that something or someone or some ancient person instead. So what this channeling is about is attaching to yourself. How many of you are willing to do that? Every single human even the enlightened awakened one still carries a shell. You may have awakened to this which is channeling, to the esoteric belief, to that which you would call metaphysics, but in the, in the process of it you built a shell around it. Here is how it works, here are the people who can and cannot, here's what it looks like. <laughs> and the new energy is going to shatter it all. Let me ask you, how old do you have to be? to do this tradition over 50 what if I told you that 13 was a good number 
celebrated in many cultures as the age of coming out. The young people are receiving a different kind of consciousness than you had. And they are ready and they are willing to give you information that you don't expect. But the shell that you have says they're too young to do it. I want you to start breaking the shell. No perceptions, no perceptions that are from the past. Wide open for only a few hours. That's what we ask. I want you to leave here different than you came, dear ones. And I want you to understand that the message is real. It does not come from my partner. He has no idea what's coming today on the last channel or what we're going to say or how it's going to be structured. He just knows that it will be right. I've given him intuition and flashes, not about the information, but about the comfort of giving the message. You see, his shell is different from yours. I am Cryon, in love with humanity, because I can see God in you. I see the joy. I see the healing that you came for. I know who you are as you sit here. And I have a name for it. Family. And so it is.